This elderly man taught his inconsiderate neighbor a lesson when he blocked his driveway. Nightmare Neighbors Their job goes with the title, right? Some of us are lucky enough to have neighbors who want to help out whenever they can, from watering our plants while we're on vacation to making sure our trash cans get put away at the end of the day and everything in between. It seems as though some people will go to any length to make sure that our lives are as peaceful as possible. The best bit? Some of us are so lucky that we never even have to talk to our neighbors. Isn't that like living the ultimate life? Even though many neighbors want to keep to themselves, it looked as though one was about to go above and beyond any levels of being inconsiderate. Thankfully, this neighbor was there to make sure he learned his lesson about blocking his driveway. There have been many times where neighbors go to war. It could be blocking someone into their driveway, having loud parties that go on all through the night, or discovering a hidden love of playing instruments as loudly as possible at all hours of the night. Whatever the case, it might not be long before one move can see the whole street divide. Little did this man know, but his life was really about to get split, literally. It looked as though his new neighbor was about to make more of an impression on the street than anyone ever thought possible. Surely they'd be able to find common ground eventually, right? Many of us move into our forever homes and grow to become a huge part of the neighborhood. Oliver Lynch was one of the many people living in Osceola, Florida, and it looked as though he had quickly become a prominent feature of the neighborhood. At 79 years old, Oliver had lived in his house for around 25 years where he'd grown to become friends with many of the neighbors. After all, so long in the same neighborhood meant that he was a regular face around the place. However, someone was about to move in and shake up the peaceful community in 2015. Oliver was used to living a life of peace, now he was going to have to fight for the rights to his quiet home more than ever. It turned out that a new neighbor was about to move in next door. There was an empty plot of land, but it seemed that was all about to change. Although Oliver had grown used to the open space next to his home, he admitted he had no issue with someone turning the area into their home. It didn't take long for the construction work to start. There were machines coming and going as the house began to take shape. What would the new neighbor be like? Would they have any irritating habits, or would they soon slot into the rest of the neighborhood? Only time would tell. Unfortunately, Oliver was about to learn that his new neighbor wanted to make more of an impression than he first thought. The 79-year-old returned home only to find something unusual waiting for him in his driveway. The new neighbor had grand plans for this build. However, Oliver never realized those blueprints included a huge portion of his driveway. That's right, the neighbor had lined up a row of cinder blocks through Oliver's driveway that went all the way back to the fence dividing their yards. Oliver tried to move them out of the way, but it was too late. It looked like the neighbor had thought of everything as he had cemented the blocks into place. There was no way that Oliver would be strong enough to get them off his driveway, and now they were there to stay. At least, that's what the neighbor thought. Oliver was determined to get them removed while learning why the cinder blocks had been placed there in the first place. There was no way that someone was going to take over Oliver's property while he was out. Oliver couldn't believe that his neighbor had waited until he was out of the house to place all the cinder blocks down the middle of the driveway. He might have been enjoying the senior years of his life, but Oliver wasn't going to rest until the situation was cleared up once and for all. In fact, he soon admitted that there was no way he was going to be bullied, no matter who the neighbor was. Oliver soon located old copies of the deeds that proved that two 12-foot driveways could be built side by side. However, there was nothing about the neighbor having the rights to invade onto his land and steal half his driveway. Oliver had no idea why his new neighbor thought he would ever be able to get away with such a thing. Perhaps he hoped Oliver wouldn't notice the addition? Although Oliver was holding proof that his neighbor had no right to cement the cinder blocks through the middle of his driveway, it looked as though he was on his own for this fight. Oliver contacted the local authorities for advice. Sadly, they told the homeowner that it was Oliver's fight and he would either have to pay for someone to remove the blocks or take his neighbor to court. There was nothing they could do and Oliver would have to foot the bill. Thankfully, Oliver took his story around the world. The neighbor might have wanted to avoid any public attention, but his actions were soon seen across the planet. The pair were eventually able to talk and come to an agreement. It looked as though Oliver had won. The cinder blocks were finally going to be removed. Sadly, the neighbor's actions had been enough to see him become the talk of the neighborhood. Now, no one was looking forward to his permanent arrival. Moving into a new neighborhood can be tough for many of us. After all, many of us have no idea who our neighbors will be, 
who to avoid, or who to be careful not to upset. Although some try to blend in with the crowd, others want to make their mark. It looked as though this neighbor had done everything to make sure they got off on the wrong foot. Sure, he wanted to build a new house on an empty plot of land. However, Oliver was about to suffer as a result. Oliver had been busy all day running errands. He'd been out of the house for many hours, but surely there was nothing to worry about. After all, it had been his neighborhood for the last quarter of a century. Oliver knew he was safe. That was until he returned to see a line of cinder blocks blocking off half his driveway. The homeowner soon had everyone's support. However, Oliver would have to work hard to get the case back on his side. No one could understand why the new neighbor had blocked off the section of Oliver's driveway. In fact, Oliver was left wondering what his new neighbor was going to do with an extra few yards of concrete. Would that tiny space really make such a big difference to his house plans? It looked as though the extra space was just what the neighbor wanted to complete his look. However, there was no way that Oliver was going down without a fight. It didn't take Oliver long to find all the proof he needed that the driveway was his, and it was nothing to do with his neighbor. Surely this would be enough to get the law on his side and see the cinder blocks removed once and for all. After all, Osceola County admitted the records Oliver had been given were up to date and had all the information he needed. Sadly, it looked as though things were about to take a turn when Oliver pushed his case one step further. The records might have been accurate, but the county confessed there was nothing they could do. It turned out that because the blocks had already been placed and cemented to the ground, it was now up to Oliver to have them removed. This wasn't the news the homeowner was hoping to hear. In fact, Oliver was now left with very few options. He could pay out for someone to remove them or take his neighbor to court. That was until Oliver thought of a third option. Now Oliver wanted to try to talk to his neighbor to see if they could get to the bottom of the situation. The homeowner hoped he would see how ridiculous it was to go to court, plus Oliver didn't want to have to stand up and fight this case. He just had to hope the neighbor would see the sensible side. Sadly, their talk didn't have the desired effect. Oliver was no closer to getting them removed, and it looked as though the neighbors were going to be forever at war. It was during their talk that Oliver learned his neighbor was a minister or something like that. However, this only angered the homeowner even further. Oliver believed placing the cinder blocks went against his neighbor's religion. Could he really be so unneighborly before even moving into the neighborhood? Oliver knew his neighbor had no right to concrete wherever he liked, but it looked as though he had no other choice but to seek legal help if he wanted them gone. Oliver was running out of options. After all, he'd tried talking to the authorities and had even spoken to his neighbor, but he just wouldn't listen. He needed a way to make him stop and think about his actions. Suddenly, Oliver had an idea. The homeowner contacted the local media. Now he could tell the whole world about what his neighbor was trying to do and hopefully guilt him into changing his mind. It was the perfect way to get people talking. It wasn't long before people from across the nation joined forces and stuck up for Oliver. It looked as though everyone wanted to help the homeowner remove the cinder blocks. But there had to be a way to get to the bottom of the issue. It was Oliver's driveway, and now he was being held captive in his own home. Hopefully, the story and media coverage would be enough for the neighbor to come forward and put the situation right after sneakily laying the blocks behind Oliver's back. It looked as though the neighbor's actions and the news coverage was enough to make quite the impression on the rest of the neighborhood. It seemed that no one was happy to hear about his cinder block plans. In fact, many believed the new neighbor was a bully and wanted to keep him out of his new home, permanently. The frosty welcome probably wasn't the reception the neighbor thought he would get before moving into a new house in the Sunshine State. Oliver might have had the public on his side, but the homeowner was still no closer to getting a result than when he was set out on his mission. Now he needed to contact the news station once again to make sure that every aspect of the battle was covered. Hopefully another story would be enough to get people talking more than ever. Oliver hoped the story would travel around the world and that it would be all his neighbor needed to see sense. He had to try anything that he could. There was a lot of back and forth, but it looked as though Oliver was now one step closer to the final result he'd been hoping for all along. Why? His neighbor had been in contact. He wanted to talk. It appeared the neighbor had seen the coverage and now he could be about to set the record straight once and for all. Sadly, the neighbor would have to work hard if he wanted to make sure that he wasn't run off the block before he even arrived. It turned out the neighbor had some records of his own, and he wanted Oliver to see that he believed the land on the driveway actually belonged to the neighboring plot of land. However, Oliver had his own set of records. Thankfully, the neighbor soon agreed that Oliver was in the right and decided to have the blocks removed from the driveway. 
It looked as though the two neighbors could finally make peace with one another after so long of fighting. The neighbor confessed that he had never intended to cause such a scene when he placed the blocks. In fact, he admitted that the entire event had been a huge misunderstanding as he'd been given the wrong information. The neighbor believed that it was never Oliver's land and thought he'd purchased it when he bought the plot of land. Thankfully, it appears as though the entire event has finally been put to rest after so long at each other's throat. It appears as though the two neighbors have been able to put the entire event behind them and moved on from the cinder block incident. Many people followed the story as it unfolded as most hoped that Oliver would get the results he expected. Thankfully, many people were relieved to see the pair had grown to become friends after all this time. They were about to become neighbors. However, the bad feelings wouldn't pave the way for the rest of their friendship. Even supposing those few extra yards truly did belong to the new neighbor, what possible good could they have done him? They were in the middle of Oliver's driveway, and the neighbor clearly couldn't do much with them if he wanted to. It really seemed like placing the cinder blocks had no other explanation except to thumb his nose at Oliver, who has never forced to field any claims to the area surrounding his home for the 25 years he's lived there. Oliver's predicament could only be described as a Kafka-esque situation, named after Czech Jewish author Franz Kafka, who often wrote about the futility of man's struggles against immense, uncaring, bureaucratic machines. That must have been what Oliver felt like, as he was forced to defend a claim to the driveway he's owned for a quarter of a century, to be told he was right, and still to receive absolutely no help from the local authorities. We can't decide whether Kafka would be proud or turning in his grave. What would you have done in Oliver's situation? Would you have resigned yourself to having part of your driveway commandeered for no reason whatsoever? Or would you have gone to all the effort of fighting like he did? With no help from the government and a seeming unwillingness to listen to reason by his neighbor, Oliver had nothing but grit and perseverance. And wasn't it lucky that he did, because his neighbor eventually relented, to think he would have been stuck with those cinder blocks forever had he given up. In the end, though, the story is about bullies and standing up to them. It's just a few yards, Oliver might have told himself. It's not worth the effort of going to so much trouble. Why not just let him have it if he wants it so bad? Going through life picking the path of least resistance is tempting, but, to quote Albus Dumbledore, we often have to choose between what's right and what's easy. Oliver clearly chose what was right, and the universe deemed fit to reward him. Since the story was covered by multiple news outlets on both television and online, countless people have had the chance to chime in and say how relieved they were that the situation was finally brought to a happy conclusion. Praying this issue is finally resolved so this man can live his life in peace, one commenter wrote. Another highlighted the importance of communication and how merely sitting down and having a conversation might have nipped this situation in the bud. Oh well, better late than never. Depending on where you live, it's almost inevitable to go without at least a minor problem between you and your neighbors. Whether it's them talking loudly on the phone late at night, or dogs barking early in the morning, or them stealing your parking spot, it's almost impossible not to run into some type of conflict with those living near you. The important way, however, is to approach the situation and handle it. If you scream at them right away, they'll be much less likely to respond. Good fences make good neighbors, they used to say, and perhaps that's true. On the other hand, building a fence on someone else's property definitely won't make a good neighbor. Some people manage to go their entire lives in places with only having polite interactions with their neighbors, a smile and a wave in passing, or perhaps borrowing some sugar or eggs when needed. Others have different interactions entirely with their neighbors, and it can either be a positive experience or a very negative one. There are even plenty of people who are lucky enough to have no issues whatsoever with their neighbors. In fact, many people consider those living nearby to be some of their best friends. They'll go to each other's birthday parties and barbecues and even get together for other important events. The only problem could be that if some sort of problem does arise, people are not just dealing with their neighbors, they're also dealing with their friend. There are even those types of people who don't even introduce themselves to their neighbors. They move in and have no interactions or relationship with any of the other people living near them, just keeping to themselves and that's it. This can be more common for people living in apartment buildings because obviously they have more neighbors than a typical standalone house in a neighborhood. That being said, it might seem a little odd not even to know the name of the person living next door, especially if you live there a long time. Regardless how different types of neighbors interact these days, it's still nothing like how it used to be. Back in the day, whenever someone new moved into a neighborhood, things were very different. 
they could expect their neighbors knocking on their doors to meet them, welcome them, and maybe even give them a homemade pie or casserole. No people tend to be slightly more hostile and keep to themselves now. Then, of course, there are those who cement cinder blocks through driveways. We all have that person in our life who always seems to be trying to take advantage of their fellow human being. And the funny thing is, quite often they don't think they're in the wrong for doing so. Believe it or not, but sometimes these people actually don't believe in right or wrong. They believe in opportunities. And if they see an opportunity to grab something, they'll be sure to grab it, regardless of whether it's right or wrong. Perhaps the most basic analogy is someone who pushes people in line. When you're waiting in line at the store or you're waiting in a long line of cars, there are two types of people in this world, the courteous people and the ones who cut everyone off. We've all been there. You're sitting in a long line of cars and no one's moving because you're stuck in traffic. Out of nowhere, a speedy vehicle will come up from the side and try to pass everyone and sneak in front. In many ways, that's what's happening in this story. Now, it just so happens that when it comes to this story, there's another element at play, the concept of ageism. It's clear that the person who put the cinder blocks on his new neighbor's lawn was someone who thought he could get away with something. But once he realized that his new neighbor was an elderly man, he probably scoffed and figured things would be even easier going forward. He never expected his new neighbor to fight back the way he did. Don't judge a book by its cover, of course. This also reminds us why we should never judge a book by its cover. We all think we know everything, and whenever we meet people, we don't realize how often we box them into various categories. Whether it be age, weight, ethnic background, religion, or anything of that nature, we find ourselves making snap judgments on the turn of a dime. Whether or not these judgments are correct, quite often they aren't based on any concrete data, and it's important to avoid that. But more than anything, the reason this story is so wonderful is because it's about what happens when you stand up to a bully. People in life will constantly try to bully you around, and it's crucial to let them know it's unacceptable. These strong figures may seem intimidating and unbeatable, but quite often they're very easily defeated by a simple display of confidence. It's all about showing them that you won't be a towel for them to walk on, and when they see that, they'll scurry right off.